level. you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. A better Jedi than you will ever be. More powerful as well, for I could best my teacher. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Yes, I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? Talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Not anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. 
I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. But this is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. If I show them I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side, maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future.
Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C842, a personal assistant droid. As I said, I am C842, a personal assistant droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people, and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you destroy me? But, but why? Phew, you're right. How could I be so selfish? I must not think only of myself, but of how it affects her. She must be frantic. And if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return then. It is my duty. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it.
Yes, what's on your mind? Dantooine's a b well, That's all I can think of. You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Yes? Yeah? What? You asked for this!
Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. 
I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Greetings, Apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cordonetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary analysis Is there any- These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Irias are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cat hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will... So, what do you want to know? Well, I was out hunting Iriaz south of here, and I saw I shot, and when I called her mother. So. Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. So. Right. So, what do you want? Right. So, what do you Right. How can I be of further assistance? Injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run, I don't know if I mentioned it. How can I be a... Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Oh. Uh. Oh. 
Cachichuita. Cachicun ita hodonga. Y kingu. Mucho shakpatant. So, what do you want to know? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. So. You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. And the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. So. Well, kind of. Right. How can I be of further assistance? I know him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a... reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? How can I... Of course. Is there any other information you need? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities near the Darrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary analysis of the body, is there any... These planes are rife with... They have small firms and... Is there any... Very well. Is there any other information you need? We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact he did not belong to Gorda. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary in is there any Very well. So, what do you want to know? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one you had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too, so he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So, what? Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. So, what do you want to... 
Right. How can I be of further assistance? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an eerie ass can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. How can I be... Of course, of course. Is there any other information? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report was to gold filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary... Is there... These planes are... They have... So... Is there... Very well. Is there any other information? I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the end just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Very well. We eat a man dieta. What a yuma wama huhu nandeke. Ah, shatumi. Ah, akupache ko. Ito. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Jid about the one I need you, Bobo. Dom na bu. Ka chi kun ita ho dom na. Dom na di ho dom na kun hong ka di. Wana kun be is to. あ、もう、シャオ、みな。ドラゴンジュスタ、ミキ、グラブモボ。カチチュウ、リターボ、ドンガ。トルドバンク、オレオガンダ、ナル。カチコン、イタホ、ドンガ。イキンコ。ロン
children instead. Anything! Far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. 
Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed, and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Yeah, what do you want? I was one of the best you and those yeah. Yeah, what do you your Droid, yes you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry, I'm gonna hug you, and oil you, and care for you, and make sure you never, ever get away again. Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. No, please take it. This pitiful amount will never be enough for what you have done for me. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the Council of your great deed. I hear you managed to return Johanni to the Order. Congratulations. I regret not being able to tell you more, but some things you must see with your own eyes. Is there something I can help you with? Indeed. 
What is it you would like from me? Very well. Is there something I hope you're tired. Please do not disturb me. If you are seeking information, perhaps the Jedi Count... It is good, sir. How good is that? About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? As I have said, I believe. Indeed, Maya. I think, perhaps, is there... I hope you... You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the Order. For this you deserve the highest praise. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order.
What? It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among them, Bastila was there. Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was what Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside. The way ahead will be difficult for you. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. These two families have been settled here for some years now. And causing me no end of trouble. Indeed. They have been settled here for some time, and feuding ever since. I do not know how the original feud started, but they want nothing to do with each other. As you may have heard, Alan Matali believes that his son, Shen, has been kidnapped by Nurik Sandral. Curiously, Nurik's son, Cassus, has been missing for some time as well. I fear Nurik may suspect Alon in this. Is there anything else you wish to know? Both families have settled to the south of this enclave. The Matalis are the closer of the two. Both have similar estates, but Alan is much more paranoid about his, and guards it quite heavily. Is there anything else you wish to know? If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. It is not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes? <laughs>